Hello and welcome everyone to my review of Gintama Chapter 572, Place of Death. Um, boy, I, I am feeling good today. I just had a shower, um, and that's about it, I guess. Um, I still haven't had anything to eat, and I do need to brush my teeth, and I, I, I still gotta, still gotta kinda start my day. Uh, but, you know, I took a shower, and I'm feeling good, um, a lot of big stuff coming up for me, hopefully in the next week or so, but uh, uh, I'll probably talk about some of that in my next review, because it, it might be relevant, but I don't know yet. So that, that's a tease for next week for all those you know, who care. N nothing about the chapter, just about my life in general, which, you know, everybody cares about. Um, so, again, for uh, just a warning... Uh, there will be spoilers, obviously, so if you are not caught up to the manga, or say, like, all two of you, you are only as caught up as we are on the Normal Life Lessons podcast, uh, please do not listen to this. Go, go do something else, please. I don't want to spoil you. Uh, like, like I was. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit, though. Alright, they're gone. Cool. Um, so, again, chapter 572, Place of Death, um, I don't have as much to say about this chapter as I do last week, but that's not exactly, um, that's not exactly a, um, a representation of my opinion of the chapter, I just, I don't really have much to talk about, um, there were a lot of things I liked, though, like, uh, I do love the color pages, for this week's chapter, um, uh, Gintama not only got the cover of Shonen Jump, but also got a wonderful two-paged color spread, both of which include all of the War 4, or the Joey 4, whatever you want to call them, Gintoki, Katsura, Takasugi, and, and Sakamoto. Um, the cover looks really nice. Um, it's just, it looks good. I love it. Um, the, the, uh, the, uh, Two-page color spread, though, arguably probably looks even better, because uh, for those of you who don't have it in front of them, it's basically the war for facing off against themselves. Um, it's 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 really nice. Like, Sirachi's color pages are usually very well done. Um, it's like they always look so nice and bright, and it's just they're just well done. I like I, I'm not an artist, so I I don't really have much else to say about them other than they look good. Um, so, th this chapter was pretty much just, you know, because as we were, uh, like, as, as the cliffhanger, you know, well, sentences, um, <laughs> as, as we found out last chapter, Takasugi is, was falling off a cliff, and is still falling off a cliff, and, you know, it's pretty much, you know, both, um, Bonsai and Makoto, you know, her and Kagura finally showing up in the story again. I was, I was wondering where they were. Um, you know, the both of them are pretty much running to Shinsuke's aid, and um, basically, the like a lot of the chapters just a lot of like bonsai monologuing and a lot of action. Um, so there's not really too much to discuss, except we do get a little, we do get a little bit of a Kiatai flashback here, uh, supposedly when. Uh, uh, supposedly of when uh, uh, Tagasugi and Bonsai first met. It seems they both met in prison with uh, Han Peita guarding them, it looks like. He's definitely not in the prison cell. So um, that's kind of interesting. Um, I'd, I'd really like to see uh, the moments in which Takasugi convinced Han Peita, Bonsai, and Makoto to join his little group. Um, that those would all be kind of interesting. Um, there were a lot of, like I, th there are some other like really dumb things I like. Like um, at one point, Sadaharu comes in and grabs Shinpachi when Shinpachi is refusing to leave Bonsai, and uh, you know I, I like how Sadaharu just kind of grabs him, puts him on it, puts him on him, and Sadaharu just kind of bounces all over everybody's heads trying to get Shinpachi out of there. I thought that was kind of cute. Sadahar was just cute in general, honestly. Um, uh, I also like uh, where Bonsai's characterization is going. Like, you could tell he really, really cares about Takasugi, and that he he's not just 
you know, a loyal uh, follower who, you know, follows him blindly. You know, he's not just a soldier. You know, he really cares about Takasugi and he really thinks of him as a friend. And that's really nice to see that Bonsai is not just a robot, that he actually has emotions and has feelings for for his comrades. That's nice. Um, yeah, like like I said, like I don't really know what else to say about this chapter other than, you know, it's I, I think it's good setup for some possible Kiatai flashbacks. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I like how every seri- like, every serious arc we've had since the Shogun Assassination arc has always had, like, one big giant flashback. Like, the Shogun Assassination arc, obviously, we focused on, on, uh, on, on, uh, Gintoki and his friends. Specifically, him and Takasugi Katsura didn't really have, um, well, I mean, I guess he had a role in the flashback because, you know, we got to see how he uh, first met Takasugi and everything. But, you know, we, we got to see how the three of them met as kids and what ultimately happened to Shoyo. And then um, the Farewell Shinsengumi arc, obviously, we got a shit ton about the Shinsengumi and how they were formed. And, you know, uh, uh, we also got some flashback about, you know, uh, Isaburo and Nobume and all that. And then, um, you know, with this arc the uh i guess what's being called the uh the rakyo something something arc i should have looked that up ahead of time i'm just going to refer to this as the uh the rakyo arc um it seems like we're going to be i i hope that this chapter is an indication that we're going to be getting some kiatai flashbacks soon cuz honestly now that i think about it we know like next to nothing about the kiatai themselves and how they were formed at all like, we know almost nothing about Makoto other than she is an undying uh, Takasugi fangirl. Um, and we we also don't know anything about Hanpeita, I don't think. Um, so far, Banzai, I think, has gotten the most characterization out of the three of them, which is fine. I like Banzai a lot, honestly. Um, I've liked him ever since... Um, I've liked him ever since the Shinsugumi Rebellion arc, and... I've always found I, I found him interesting even before then because they kind of they kind of kept him in the background for a while until he finally had a role to play. Um, so he was all, he was really always interesting from the get go. But um, yeah, I, I really hope we get some Takiyatai flashbacks really soon, um, especially now that Takasugi is awake. Um, he finally awoke from his coma, which unfortunately I was spoiled about that ahead of time that that would have been a really cool reveal and i probably wouldn't have seen it coming if i wasn't spoiled about it which really sucks um which is probably why i'm not as excited about this chapter because i knew about that ahead of time but you know it, it's that that doesn't color my opinion of the chapter i promise um it just last chapter i thought like the dialogue really got to me honestly and it really made me think about Gin and his character, and I thought there was a lot of great, um, like, I don't know, I thought that gave me a lot to think about, honestly. Um, this, I don't know, like, again, it's a lot of monologue and a lot of action, so, you know, it's moving the story forward, obviously, now that Takasugi's awake. Um, I do want to, obviously, I want to see what happens next, um, well, I guess I guess one thing I, I could also talk about is I really like the art for this chapter in general because there are a lot of nice like silent pages and silent panels where uh, you know Makoto sees Takasugi falling and you know she tries to grab him but Kagura saves her from falling off the cliff herself. Um, you know we just we we get a lot of like again we get a lot of silent panels but. Uh, very textless i guess but you know even without text we can see just how distraught uh uh uh, uh, uh makoto is i almost forgot her name for a second even though i just said it a few seconds ago um yeah i don't know i guess I i'm not explaining it very well like it's the the art is very expressive i think this chapter with makoto and kagura both um i really appreciated how well done some of that was um Oh yeah, I guess Kamui shows up, and I guess he saves Takasugi. Um, I'm I'm wondering what he's up to. 
I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I, I guess he's hi I guess he's hiding himself because he doesn't want to be captured. But I don't know. I kind of hope he comes back in the story soon because, again, I I really want some more characterization for Kamui because I I want to like him as a character, but he just he he honestly is my least favorite character out of the entire series. But 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 again, we we got some some hints of further characterization back in the Shogun assassination arc when he fought Kagura, so I'm hoping we get some more of those. Um, which which makes me wonder, I wonder if, um, I wonder if, um, I wonder if we're going to get more Kiatai flashbacks or Yato flashbacks this arc. Because um, I, I really don't, I really don't want this to end up like the Shogun assassination arc where we we get like just a little Kagura and Kamui and Yato action, and then the rest of the arc just starts to focus on the other more important characters. Because that that was the one thing that I kind of didn't like about the assassination arc was that I was really really looking forward to seeing more of Kagura and Kamui because I really want to see where that goes. And I mean, not that I'm complaining about you know what we got because that was phenomenal and it was really really good really well written shit um some of the best i've seen in gintama honestly but i mean i i, I can't really blame sirachi cuz there probably wasn't a lot of room for it like but still i that doesn't mean i'm not a little disappointed that that got kind of pushed by the wayside so as much as i want some kiatai flashbacks like as much as they're really needed i almost hope that you know, the Yato stuff isn't just pushed to the side again. Um, because we, we got, we gotta get, I mean, we, I mean, to be fair, we do know more about Kagura and her family than, than any of the Kiatai. I mean, aside from Takasugi, but that goes without saying. Um, so you, you could make the argument that maybe, maybe we don't need to see any more Yato stuff. Maybe we, maybe, I mean, we could use a little bit more, but, I mean, my point is, we you can make the argument that we probably need more Kiatai stuff than Yato stuff, but I just, I want both. Can I just have both? That would be really nice. Just, please, I really want more Yato stuff, but I also want more Kiatai stuff. I'm just, I'm so conflicted, guys. I just want everything. Don't get, don't all Gintama fans just want everything? Ah, oh, we're so greedy. Um, I think that's about it. Like, I'm kind of just rambling on at this point. Like, again, I really don't have a lot to say compared to last week um I, I mean i i liked the chapter um i think it would have had more of an impact on me if i didn't know if i didn't know what was coming at the end but but i, I still liked it though it was it was good i liked it not as strong as last week's chapter but i liked it um so yeah, I, I don't really have any predictions other than, yeah, I think we're going to be getting some Kiatai flashbacks soon, or at least, hopefully, um, either that or hopefully Kagura's going to do some stuff next chapter, one of the two. Um, it seems like Utsuro's closing in, so I don't know, maybe Utsuro will jump down from his ship and fuck shit up like he did last time? Maybe, I don't know. Um, again... Just like every week, Gintama has like 50 million directions it could go in, so that's why I'm keeping myself from making a uh, a straight prediction, or I guess committing to one prediction. I guess however you want to say it. I can't words. Um, so okay, I, I think I think that's about it. So we'll see you guys next week for uh, chapter five seventy three, and I hope you guys all have a good day.